Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode: How to load and view lidar in ArcGIS Pro in the series of GIS and remote sensing. This series is brought to you by the Faculty of Forestry, the University of British Columbia. I'm Hai Tao Li. I will be your guide. This video introduces the use of ArcGIS Pro with lidar data, demonstrates how to open lidar. Create a LiDAR dataset and check the information. You need access to ArcGIS Pro and LiDAR data. You may download the data from our faculty's shared drive. Please contact me if you need help to find the data. LASFI is stand for Storing LiDAR Pond Cloud. It is a convert format. LAS format is identical to LAS except for being compressed. LAS format is popular for publishing LiDAR data because LAS files are usually many times smaller than LAS files. For example, here it's almost 10 times smaller. Another compressed file is ZLAS. Neither of them can directly be opened by RGS Pro. We need to convert them to the LAS format first. Use these tools to we can convert either from the last file to no compressed format or compress the, the last files to last file. Last files can be directly loaded by ArcGIS Pro, same as load shape file. We can drag in or add the data from here. After load the data, you will see a new Set of tools on the top of toolbar with its own tab, appearance, data, and classifications. Let's zoom to the layer. Hold the shift, drag to the areas we are interested in. Zoom into the place the point starts to display. To reduce using computer resources, not all points are displayed on the screen. You may change the display point by scale or the limited the maximum point number or density. Besides the number of points, we can choose which class to show on the map by last point filters, such as all points, ground, non-ground, First to return points. Symbology is another very useful tool to visualize LiDAR. We can use points, surface, or lines to display elevation, classes, returns, slopes, counters, and other information. Also, less can be directly opened. ArcGIS Pro still provides less data set which have quick access to large volume of LiDAR without the need for data convention or importing. You can work with several thousand to less files covering an entire area or perhaps just a few less files for a specific study area. Let's create a less data set by using these tools. First, input the file, less file, and uh, you can input either LAS file or ZLAS file. Then, select the output folder and the name, and select the coordinate system. First is project coordinate system, then is the coordinate system or the vertical coordinate system. Now the LiDAR data set is ready. Let's check the property. First, the data source includes the most basic information such as the data type, the file name, the location, and the total point, and how many LiDAR types include in this data set. And uh, for the vertical units, 
it will be provided only with set up the Z coordinate system. Below is the spatial reference show the projection information, both the X Y coordinate system and uh, Z coordinate system. If you are interested about more detail about the data set, we can calculate the statistic here. After select the output file names, there are more options that we can choose, such as aggregate statistic for all files or separate for each less file. And the format of the statistic report. And run. This is what the report looks like. It includes all kind of the basic information. For the LiDAR data, we're also interested in point spacing, which influences the data resolution. To check the point spacing, we need to use ArcPy command. Open the notebook, type in the command, run. And this is the average point spacing. So far, we discussed how to load the last file, create LiDAR data set, check data information, and visualize the data in 2D. LiDAR records 3D information. We can visualize, analyze, and build models in 3D. How can we do it? Let's talk about it in the next video. Thanks for your watching. Please contact us if you have any questions.